Head on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab, Tarek Skubal. What do you have on him, Siggy? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Edouard Julien leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. A wind and a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Yeah, that's too high. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Scoobal. He's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. And that one sliced foul. Yeah, he throws strikes. And, you know, he's got the command, be in the zone, be effective. But just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog, and throwing the pitch. Rogers drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Two down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit ah that ends the inning so we take a break twins nothing tigers coming to bat you're watching major league baseball exclusively on the show back at comerica park our starter in this one pablo lopez power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them ready to go for the last half of the inning and now here is Parker Meadows that's off the mark ball one Left hand batter waits. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Lewis under it. And makes the grab. One up, one down. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. 
Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Lopez, an all-star a season ago, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slurve, a curve, and he works in a sinker. One out, base is empty. Started to swing, held up. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. That's in there, and it's 1-2. and two. Hit weakly on the ground. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Third, the first base Two outs, space is empty. Spencer Torkelson now at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Down in order go the Tigers. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Detroit, second inning, set to go. Now batting Max Kepler. And a pitch. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. And now the lefty, swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Here's the 0-2. And that one missing low. Got him swinging. And quickly one away in the second. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Carlos Correa. And that's outside. And that's ball one. The pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Hit hard on the ground to short. Baez fires over to first. That takes care of Correa. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Second inning here, no score. Next one misses, one ball, one strike. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two outs. Fights it off, you'll see another. The lefty fires. That just misses two and two. It's a good take. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Twins retired in short order.
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Here comes a pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Lewis settles under it. And out number one on the grab. Here's Mark Canna. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. In for a strike, and the count is one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two out spaces empty. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw on to Santana. And the Tigers retired 1-2-3. Tigers fail to make any noise. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Matt Walmer. Walner hitting seventh in today's lineup a former first round pick back in 2019 that one missed swing and a miss that's strike one yeah I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Usually when you see several pitches, you're going to get at least one that you might be able to do something with. But they didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there. And really, they just used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down on strikes, but not a single pitch was actually in the strike zone. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And takes low for ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And another ball. 3 2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Top of the third, no score. He goes down looking. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Alex Kirilov stands in here, takes ball one low.
in the air pretty deep out to center field. He's got it and that'll end the inning. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the inning. Gior Shella to the plate. Lopez back to work. That's outside. And that's ball one. Late swing fouled off. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Righty delivers. Change up on the corner, and that's a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Wouldn't chase that time. Outside, and that is ball four. The batter now, Javier Baez. Javi Baez, like fellow Puerto Rican Francisco Lindor, born in Puerto Rico, but was drafted in the first round out of high school in Florida. Late on that fastball. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now here is Jake Rogers. Fought off foul. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's one and one. Swings through that. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Parker Meadows. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the last half of the third. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. The Tigers get on the board first. It's 3-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. A hard sinker can be a pretty tough pitch because of the late life and movement, but somehow he got the barrel to that pitch, stayed through it. Really nice job of staying on the backside until it was time to transfer that weight, and a really nice home run. Here's Riley Green. Grounded out his first time. And a good eye there. And a swing and a miss there. 
Still only one out here in the inning. And there's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Buxton sizes this one up, brings it in. And there's two down. Now batting, first baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Up and in, 1 and 0. Oh. And yeah, that's outside. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The wide to kick the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Kerry Carpenter digs in now. He popped out his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. Torkelson, the runner at first with two gone. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw on to Santana. And that is the inning. Three-run shot for the Tigers. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Start of the fourth, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Edouard Julien. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And a foul ball. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Here's a high chopper. Torkelson steps on first for the out. Up next for Minnesota, the third baseman, Royce Lewis. Here's Royce Lewis. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it. A gigantic blast. And they inch closer. It's 3-1. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Byron Buxton. Grounded out his first time. Right through there for a strike. When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. Next pitch is outside. Oh. 
way out front for strike two. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Max Kepler at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Step off throw to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And there's a ball. At the belt and fires. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Man at first, one away. Just missed. Fouls one off, two and two. Struck him out without a swing. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Two outs. That clips the corner. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Bottom four, now Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Canna. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, these Tigers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. The next offering misses. Now one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. All over that one right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Stepping in, Colt Keith. And a foul ball. And now the count is even. Canna aboard here at first with nobody out. 
Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and it's two and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a curve is down and in. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Righty to the plate. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He's safe. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Gior Shella steps in. The walk and a run scored his first time. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. The next pitch misses. And the count one and two. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Cody Funderburg getting loose out there. Runner at second. Nobody out. That one misses two and two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Man at second. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Javi Baez digs in right side. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And that one in the air center field. Buxton moves under it. He's got it. There's two away. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jake Rogers. Struck out swinging his first time. Check swing, no appeal. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. And the right hater deals, and a curb misses outside. Just missed. And a pitch. And a four pitch walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. And the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So the lineup flips over. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Parker Meadows. Fouled off left side. Next offering is foul back. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The Tigers trying to break this one open. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a pop up on the left side of the infield. Jeffers moving under it. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. Tigers grab one on this RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. As the lefty gets to work. This one in the air, right field. Green moving under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that is in for a strike. 1 1. And ball one. The Twins trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Oh, he throws it away. Around second now, going for three. He's in there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. One down. And now the Twins catcher, Brian Jeffers. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. And another ball. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. Walner stands at third with one gone in the inning. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. So one out with two aboard. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. There's a strike. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. That's a little bit low. That one to first. One at second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Tigers four and the Twins one. Back at Comerica Park. And now the right fielder, Riley Green. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And that's outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first heading for two. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. <laughs> Cody Funderburg gets the ball now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So, man aboard, Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 
Well, these Tigers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Man at second. Wouldn't chase that time. And that one wrapped foul. And a curve is down and in. And there's a foul ball. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Last half of inning number five. On the ground to the left and foul ball. Three balls two strikes the count gets a piece there we'll do it again. And a pitch. Got him looking not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Next is the Tigers' DH, Kerry Carpenter. In there at the knees. Base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw in. Safe. Picks himself up an RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. One for two. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike and safe it's a stolen base well I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead but I think it's more respect for their opponent knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game don't take it as an offense take it as a sign of respect the pitch In the air, right field. Kepler has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And first offering is fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Carpenter at third with two away. Next pitch in the dirt. Ball one. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. The run scores from third, and the lead is up to five. Really stayed true on that swing. It wasn't an easy pitch. Lefty on lefty. Pitch was a little down, a little bit away, but he committed to it, and his shoulder stayed square to the plate. Didn't try to pull off that ball at all, and that's why it jumped off the bat. Here's Gio Urshela. A strikeout and a walk. That misses, and that's ball one. Foul ball there. Oh. 
two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And the pitch. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We're through five. Tiger six and the Twins won. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Edouard Julien. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. A rope into right, and that should be extra bases. The throw into second, not going to get him. He's in there. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So, man aboard. Now the third baseman, Royce Lewis. He's already homered in this game. In the air, center field. Meadows grabs it on the run. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Byron Buxton getting ready to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed. Now this down the right field line. Fair ball should be extra bases. Runner comes in from second to score and they cut the lead. It's 6-2. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. One out, runner at second. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. Fastball for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Good eye right there. In there at the knees. It's two and two. Left hand batter waits. High fly ball, right field. Green going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. And here comes Carlos Correa. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Lifted in the air, right center field. Green makes the grab on the run. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 6-2. Back here in Detroit, bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's Javier Baez. If they did a poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javi Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. He 
swings and fouls one off. The shortstop takes a ball. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. On the ground to first. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. High in the air, out to right. Kepler in position. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second. In there safely. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows, looking to do more of what he did back in the third. No doubt that three run homer is a huge reason why they're in a good spot right now in this ball game and important swing of the bat. There's the strike. Next offering is down low. And it's a ball and a strike. One away with a runner at third here in the bottom of the sixth. Lewis throws to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now the number two hitter, Riley Green. One for three. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Oh. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And first offering is fouled off. Inside just missed. Green leads off first with two down to the inning. Just missed. Two, two. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Tigers seven and the Twins two. We go to the top of the seventh, and the batter now, Carlos Santana. Scoobal back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these twins looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. And now for the twins, Matt Walmer.
strike on the inside corner. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Shelby Miller getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Chafin, a left-hander, also throwing. Headed towards the corner, drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Up next for Minnesota, the catcher, Ryan. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Just missed. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. And that's too high, ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So two down, and now the Minnesota designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. Fastball for a strike. And that one pulled foul. The Tigers leading by five here at the top half of inning number seven. Ball one there. And now the lefty. Check swing, now an appeal to third. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. One left for Minnesota. They're down five. It's seven to two. And we're back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. That's in there. It's 0-1. Movement in the bullpen. Caleb Thielbar appears to be getting loose. Hard hit left side. Tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So up next, Mark Canna. A little bit high, maybe, and it's one to know. And a foul ball. Fouls it off, still one and two. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Fights that one away, still one and two. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And another ball. That's down and in. Hot shot to third. Zips it across. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Keith.
That one missed. Swings and misses. And a count even at one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Two outs. Swings through that one. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Up the middle, gloves it on the dive, to his knee, the throw, and very nicely done for the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen, Shelby Miller. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. The pitch. That one inside, and that's ball one. Miller, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, and he works in a slider. Just missed. Next pitch is outside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Man at first, Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And, and Right-handed reliever. Fought off foul. The 0-2. That one just misses. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The one two. And that's down it away. All right. So in this at bat, he's seen a couple of off speed pitches. Now back to back fastballs in this count. You definitely got to stay back. Make sure you don't get out in front and be prepared to shorten up and hit the ball the other way. Here comes a pitch. Lewis tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he did. James Kingsley rings him up. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. And that one finds its way through. Canna whips it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. First and second, one out. Next to hit, Max Kepler. There's a strike. Julian, the lead runner out at second. Buxton at first, one gone. Close, but called a ball. And the count is one and one. Tigers bullpen with some action. Alex Lang getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. Another ball. Go, 
Wouldn't chase that time. Three, two. And they're all loaded up. Now Correa up to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One run is in. Fires it to the plate. Save! It's 7-4. Nicely done. Brings home two. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Jason Foley takes over on the mound. So up next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Get on base here and keep building off this momentum. They're getting closer, but they still got some work to do. And fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Tying run at the plate. That misses. And one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Line drive. And it bangs off the wall. The run scores from second. It's seven to five. Just a huge at bat right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. Substitution now at first base. On to pinch run, Willie Castro. Matt Walmer, the next to hit. Foley throws over, and he's back standing. There's a strike. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is downstairs. Outside. Swing and a ball popped up. Urshela gets there. He's under it. Two down. And here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. Ground ball right side down the line and it's foul. Two on, two outs. That missed by a lot. Gonna count one and two.
Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He comes across to score, and the Twins tie it up. It's 7-7. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall, but... When you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Really important at bat coming up now. So runner at second, two down. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But nine batters hit in the inning. Five come around to score. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we are tied 7-7. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jay Jackson. Now pitching for Minnesota, number 32, Jay Jackson. This now into the ball game on defense, Kyle Farmer. He takes over as the new first baseman. Gio Urshela up now for the Tigers. The third baseman. A wind in the pitch. Fastball for a strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. The 0-1. In the air right side. Touches down. That's a hit. Substitution being made at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Matt Veerling. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Javier Baez. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right-hander kicks, deals. Drops a bunt down the first base side. And he grabs it, foul. Kicks and deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Next pitch misses way outside. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Correa to second, on to first, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. And next up for the Tigers, Jake Rogers. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. That one misses, and it's 3 0. Parker Meadows would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap, 
will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Meadows in the box now takes strike one. Now move to first Rogers back easily. Righty delivers. It's a pitch out nothing doing and that's ball one. Fastball for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Stays alive. And here it comes. On the ground to third. They get the force. And the inning is over. One left for Detroit. And this remains a seven all tie. So coming into the game now on defense, Matt Veerling. He's the new third baseman. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. You know, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Bounce to third. Fair ball. And now it gets into the corner. Safe at second with nobody out. And that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. Gets him to chase after that one. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Gets under and pops it up. Torkelson should have this one. Hauls it in for the out. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Just missed. Runner edges away at second. Just missed. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Man at second. On the inside corner for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. In the dirt, blocked. Save. And the go-ahead runs at third. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. At the belt and fires. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. So they turn things over to the righty, Will Vest.
And next will be the cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. There's the strike of the knees. That one finds the zone. Oh, a two now. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. He went around. Tough call, but that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. 2-3-4 set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Caleb Thielbar. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now the right fielder, Riley Green. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch just missed. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Yoan Duran warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Oker also getting ready. On the ground, Julian. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. And ball one. Winning run on base at first, no outs. Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw to second and he's out. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Popped up. He's under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. The designated hitter, Gary And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. And that skips in the dirt. That catches the outside corner. One and two. Trying to send this extra innings. Swing and a miss. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Back at Comerica Park. On to extra innings. And now for the Twins, Carlos Correa. And a pitch. 
Ball one there. That one out to right. And Correa retired. Grounder tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Cal Farmer up to the plate now, taking his first at bat here in extra innings after coming in on defense. Out to short. Throw on to Torkelson. Two away. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch, just misses. Two down, go ahead, run, and score in position. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. And another ball. Two outs. Rip to short. Baez fires over to first. Out number three. Twins wind up stranding one. Still tied. 7-7. We're in extras here. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Peel bar back to work. In the air to left center, Buxton sizing this one up. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. Close play, but in there. And up next for Detroit, Colt Keith. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Now a pitch out to defend against the squeeze, but nothing going on. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Ball to strike to third. Across is the winning run, and the Tigers walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And a final eight to seven. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.
3 hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.